Hi guys, I'm Max, this is Dan, and we're from the Mac Initiative, a student group trying to create the world's fastest remote control plane. In our last video, we began to understand the fiberglass layout process. So in this video, we're going to be applying that process to our aircraft in order to manufacture some of our fiberglass panels. Without further ado, let's get started. The aircraft is comprised of seven fiberglass panels, providing structural reinforcement and a complex 3D geometry. We'll start by building the panel highlighted on the screen. Cutting up the moulds was all done in Fusion 360, and you can see here how we designed the moulds in parts that could be printed individually and then fit together. Since we're 3D printing our moulds and our build plate is only around 20 centimetres, this mould especially had a lot of individual parts. Pre-processing the moulds with sandpaper absolutely sucks, but it has to be done and everyone in the team put in a really fair shift with it. Right, let's get gluing. The skin section we're showing here was our biggest layout yet. There were a lot of difficult nooks and crannies to get the fibres into, but with some tutelage from a technician, George was able to get it looking really good. Once we had let the part cure overnight, we took it out of the bag and began post-processing. Next, we repeated the process for the other moulds. Then to finish off, after we'd had all the pieces cleared up, we roughly taped them together with our turbojet slotted in place to see how it all came together. There you have it, thanks for watching. Uh, we're really excited to finally see our aircraft beginning to take shape. In our next video, we're gonna begin manufacturing the internal structure, which means machining our bulkheads, laser cutting our ribs, and cutting down our carbon fiber rods to provide us a little bit more reinforcement. Anyway, that's that for this video. Really hope you enjoyed it, guys, and uh, hope to see you next time. Don't forget to like, share, and subscribe. Thanks, guys.